fresh air with my bestie. I'm tearing up because it's so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning! We're going to Edis. Me and Nick are twinning too hard right now yeah, with the caps. We are. I mean, we're we're triplets, so we're literally we're, we're literally twinning. We're on our way to go to Edis right now, but first we're gonna stop and grab coffee. No, I, I just drank make, coffee yeah. and I made a whole TikTok making a pistachio latte. I also made a TikTok getting ready this morning, so if you want to check that out, it's too early in this video for me to be plugging just my other social. Of, go check her Instagram. <laughs> go check my Instagram. I just made a Twitch account and I want to start streaming. Uh, what else can I plug? <laughs> it's like five seconds into the video and I'm like promoing myself. We're going to Edis to see the Cedars of Lebanon and it's pretty far. It's like three hours from Beirut and we're gonna meet up with our cousin. Whoa. So I haven't been to the Cedars since 2021 and I didn't actually see any Cedars when I went to the Cedars. So oh, I'm excited for that. Let's grab coffee first because we're here. I take iced latte with almond milk and a Spanish latte. Thank you. I got an iced latte with almond milk. So let's try it out. Need some mixing though. I feel like they put a little too much milk in mine. I think it's also because the condensed milk. You could have got it like a double shot and yeah, then it would be less been milky. That's something I noticed with cafes in Lebanon. It's like they they, oh my god, I'm really struggling with this camera. They put a lot of milk in lattes. Like, I know lattes are supposed to have a lot of milk, but like, they put yeah, excess. Yeah, but I would milk. say... Oh, this camera's yeah. flying everywhere. I would say the... Okay, I'll just wait and say... The camera doesn't want to hear what you have to say because it keeps falling. Can I say what I would say? Yeah, I think we're good. I would say the best, like 60% milk and then the rest, coffee. This is insanely sweet, but hey, maybe it just needs more mixing. Can I try it? It tastes like straight up condensed milk. Yeah. It tastes good, it but tastes it's just good. pretty it's just sweet. Pretty sweet. But well. anyway, oh, the door is open. Oh, <laughs> which door? That's door. where the sound is coming from. Park on the uh, side. Oh. Oopsies. I didn't close the door properly because I thought I was going to get hit by a car. Now we're officially on the way to Edis. I guess we're going to hike a little bit. My goal this time is to see as many cedar trees as possible. I went either in 2018 or 2019. Yeah, with really the school, remember. but I don't think I went on that trip. Yeah, you, you didn't. I also really hope we have time for this, but Jibran Khalil Jibran used to live in Shadi. I'm pretty sure. So there's a Jibran Khalil Jibran museum there. Our cousin is in Lebanon. She lives in the US now, but she grew up with us in Lebanon. Like she moved maybe a few years after we did. And then she moved back to the US when she graduated university. I don't know why I'm giving you her whole lore, but anyways, she's visiting Lebanon right now. And she has been really, uh. she is like the most adventurous person I know. She initiates so Literally, many plans for she's us. Like, except hey, you like, wanna go kayaking today? Yeah, like, she's like, do you wanna go uh, on sure. like a two hour sunset kayaking ride? I'm like, yes. I'll actually insert footage because I brought a camera with me and like a GoPro type camera and I vlogged it all but I had nowhere to use the footage so <laughs> this is a mini vlog of our kayaking trip. <laughs> My cousin took us kayaking. We've been going to the gym all the time with her. She went, what do you call it? Like rock, not rock climbing. Like uh, mouth diving. Oh, spelunking. I thought that was a fake word when I first heard it. It's crazy. Like that, that's the one thing that she cannot convince me to do. Me, she told me I would love it. And I told her I would probably die in that cave. <laughs> I think my claustrophobia could not handle that. Oh, emergency? Well, you have to hike two hours back to get out. That's the one thing I wouldn't do, but she's adventurous like that. Randomly, I'll like text her like, hey, want to go to the gym in the morning? And then she'll be like, actually, I'm on a four hour hike right now, like <laughs> in a waterfall. Yeah, I'm like, I, we're not joking, by the way. She just girl. does it. I don't even know how she finds these things. Like, how Me do you either, even know? But I love that about her. She's so yeah. adventurous. So today she was like, put on hiking clothes. I'm like, 
I guess we're going hiking. I'm like, so, what's hiking clothes? <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm really is that hoping that we we got our cedar sighting of the day. I'm joking. That's not a cedar. My maps has been so messed up lately that yesterday I was in Haditha and it said I'm in the airport. Me too. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. I don't That's know what's so happening. Weird. My maps are always so messed up. Like literally, I will get lost on the simplest road. I'm like, why am I following the map? My brain would give me better guiding knowledge, and I kind of forget roads. Not gonna lie. My issue with directions is like if it's somewhere outside of my familiar areas I will not know the road but yesterday my mom was like driving she's like where's the highway for where's the highway for Beirut she sees like a tiny corner she's like oh that's it I'm like I would have missed was, that exit I, a billion times over and not seen I it. literally can't explain how like how the road looked like how <laughs> no one would have known this if they I don't know how to phrase alone. it. It's, it was no, it was like, like imagine a alleyway. pitch black road. Yeah. And why is it zooming in? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> what is happening? A ghost is like controlling my camera because ghost wants I, to see what's in the back. Seat. How did it zoom in like that alone? I wasn't touching my camera. Anyways, yeah. we got this white chocolate Unica the other day, so let's oh, yeah, try it. I've that. never tried white chocolate. Hopefully, Unica. it's not melting. I love like looking at billboards and like kind of judging this them. Is and You're analyzing a marketing them. Student, bro. Like this billboard, I would have never told what restaurant it is. You know what I'm gonna say about nothing. that billboard? Too much blue. Why yeah, is it Yeah, and it all looks nothing blue? like the restaurant. But I think just this is the marketer inside of you. Yeah, I love like looking at ads. Ooh, it's so melted. It's pretty good. It tastes so different than a normal Unica. Like the chocolate part is much thicker. Right now we're going to meet up with my cousin. She's staying at the beach, so. We're gonna meet up with her and then we're gonna go to Edis together. So, I'll see ya. I aspire to be this guy when I'm older. No, you have to see him. His hair, his stinking vibe. He's driving a neon up. green buggy wearing a full oh, yes, suit. You have to see this guy. This is me, how I aspire to be dapper. when I'm older. Literally dapper. No, no, you need to see him. He's awesome. Literally coolest guy I've ever seen. We made it to the beach. Yeah, we're like getting ready now and then we're gonna go to Edis. The beach, I love the beach. <laughs> Is this a katakana? Katakana. <laughs> That's katana. alphabet in Japanese. It's a katana. I'm literally slaying. Get it? Slay. Whoa. Envision we're in like an action anime and like it's getting serious. Don't get that close oh to me. <laughs> I was moving like this. I was fast. trying to like, like Jokana. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're so close. Guys, it's not even short. We're gonna stop at um, a bakery on our way. The views are looking so nice. I love like Lebanon in summer, like oh, hate road trip vibes. Like, wow, look at this. Camera isn't doing it justice. I love that like with a little like hour drive you can see such different things like you drive an hour out of Beirut and it looks completely different. It's all limestone so the mountains look bright and like yeah. the roads look bright. Little pit stop on our road trip. I got a turkey and cheese sandwich because they didn't have salads. I really wanted a kale salad. If you know me you know I love kale salad. Just converted me to a kale salad enjoyer. I am like kale salad if i if kale sa what is this saying if kale salad had one fan it's me and if it had no fans uh, what'd you get i got a chicken wrap this is turkey and cheese it feels so messy the sandwich is kind of mid can i try a bite you want to try yours is really good though. you like it i just wish they toasted the bread the hardest thing ever is doing lip liner in the car. Oh my gosh, these roads. We're going first to Jibran Khalid Jibran's museum because it closes at 4 and it's 3.15. I'm sure it's like small and I think we'll like be done with it really. I remember. This is an artist, an art gallery here. Oh. Eddie's art. Mom oh, loved hey. that. And he's oh. actually really good. Like his paintings see, look like, so like, nice. What is that? Is that Gibran Khalil Gibran? Is that? It I is. think it is. Yeah. By the way, he existed before Lebanon was like its own thing. Where it was under the Ottoman Empire. That's crazy. Here. This is not slight right, Nick. Just, I did not hear you. Are slight. those edits? Those Nick, are edits. Nick, look at the right now. ADHD <laughs> is not the time. <laughs> like, we're literally in edits. You're gonna see them, don't worry. <laughs> 
Wow. Oh, we're kind of on the wrong road. Uh, oh, shit. Wait, is that snow on the mountain? It's still snow. It's just, it's literally so hot. How? But we're getting so ADHD brain. <laughs> Me and Nick, way. when we see something new, when we're like exposed to a new place, our attention span is like 0 0.01. We made it. Yay. Fresh air. So beautiful. We made it to the Jibran Khalid Jibran Museum. Excited to see it. I think the entrance is from Whoa, imagine wow, he grew up here. Wow, look at that statue here. of him. Whoa. What the hell? There's the, a The fresh air is just so nice. There's a nebaa, guys. With my bestie. I don't I don't know any poem of it. I don't, I don't know what that says. Ishda. Ish, Ish. Damn, I need to refresh my Arabic reading skills. That is so bad. I'm just like trying to read it Look for like an hour. like the water shimmering off. This wasn't vlogging the whole time. No way, Jess. We just gave like a whole motivational speech. <laughs> and I, I was like, wait, Jess, is the red bar there? It wasn't vlogging, but, I didn't say that. but anyways, I that. we'll cut the long story lesson short. We're just saying like, this is your sign and use this video as motivation to explore your country or if yeah. you're a student in a new country, oh, you're still in my like, yeah, I, I stole Nick's topic. <laughs> he added that, like if you're a student in a new country, just explore because- Take on a weekend, go like three hours away from where you are yeah. and just go see something new. Exactly, because like I often take Lebanon for granted when it's literally such a beautiful country and I feel like I just tend to forget that. I love the red roofs. I'm gonna take this as inspiration for my painting. Is this recording? Now I'm gonna be paranoid. I love like totally the old doors and the stone. It's so pretty, like the stone and the flowers. Oh, it's his tomb as well. that I saw and I pointed out. I guess yeah. he makes these cards. We left the Jibran Khalil Jibran Museum, but we could not film anything. We're not allowed to film. So, I mean, I tried to film a little bit, but like, I didn't want to- Only snippets. Yeah, I didn't want to give it all away because then like, I feel wrong doing that. But I filmed like little parts just so you can get a glimpse of what it looks like. It's it was pretty, pretty cool. cool because usually museums are so like pristine that nothing feels like old and like, they don't create the like feeling of like the artist or of like the time but this really feels like the era that it's in it's like little caves to get down to his tomb and then there's like his artwork his bookshelf of all his like books that he's read come here if you're going to the ed. don't come mm -hmm. here only don't just come to the Gibran Khalid Gibran Museum but I mean make an Edis trip yeah, and like an include Edis it on your way and include it in the Edis trip honestly it was bigger than I expected it to be like I thought it was gonna be maybe like a room or two it was like three floors or there were some of his poems and some his of his art his tomb is crazy I just have to say it's a little creepy. Yeah, it kind of it was. It was apparently like his special request yeah. to make it this way. Yeah, like he wrote his tombstone letter and also there was like a light reflecting a shadow of him. Yeah, because so he so wanted creepy. to make it seem like he's behind you. The quote said, I'll insert it, but it was like something like, I'm always, I'm, I'm so alive and I'm like right behind you, turn around. That's basically <laughs> what it's like. <laughs> Literally. It's on like, his close tombstone. your eyes and I, and see me around you. It really was giving creepy was vibes, but like, true. that's and, what I want to see in a something. museum. I want it to feel real. In museums, they always make like old pe like old houses or like old people's bedrooms look like the most depressing. I know. Ugliest really room did. you would hate to live there. And it's pro it probably wasn't like that when he was alive. Actually, it mm. probably was from his dark Oh, just, from his art. Yeah, no, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. That was like a tortured I artist. Feel like it was way more of his art than his poetry. Yeah, like there was, was like two poems. They should like project, project his, poems his poems on the wall. On the wall have like voice memos. I kind of feel like I'm in like a video oh, game shit. simulation. Was it backwards? Here. I can reverse. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go back. Oh no, my no, God. keep going, keep going. We're a little bit lost. I swear, I feel like everyone's just looking at our car and like they are not from here the way we're lost. This road is getting tighter and tighter by the second. It's stressing me out. This is like half a road right now. 
ASMR ground. It's really giving ASMR. It's so satisfying when you crush it and it becomes like sand. We made it to the Cedars. We were like really panicking driving on that road. It was like a tiny, tiny one street road. And there's like a wedding going on here or something. Everyone was like in gowns. يعني هول الأرز تقريبا قديس عمرهم الغوبة هو عمره سبعين سنة سبعين سنة؟ اف نيك they do weddings here no chemicals nothing it's all طبيعة هتعرفوا انه من هون بيطلع هيك مثل طبع الورد يعني هول إذا زرعناه هون شي خمس سنين قد ايه بصير كبروا بدك تشربي قهوة تحت منها ايه حلو he said in five I asked him in five years how big would I get he's like you'll be able to sit under it yeah I want to get one a key هلا هيديك الأرز اللي بتشوفها وبيطلع ورق ورق بيطلع مجموعات ما في خمس أنواع أرز ذاك الأرز الأصلي لا مثل طبق الورد لك بدي شك برونه هو جهلينه مثلك لك كيف تيركي شعره هاو كلهم مغني هاو كلهم مغني انتو بتضلوا هون طول السنه؟ انا على طول ليش بيناتهم في ارز هون 3000 سنه من ارز الرب هول 3000 سنه؟ I was really not expecting to get a cedar baby today and become a mother and like learn all of this but this man is so wholesome like really he was saying how the person that made this 75 years ago his fa father planted it and they all called him crazy for doing it and he was like no you have to like I want to it's the cedars of God it's 70 times in the bible it's mentioned that the cedar عيش بالطبع لاك اذا جبنا ربينا طفل وما حكينا معه بده يطلع اخره فاذا الطفل اللي صاف على بيضه عبيه خاوف بيخوف عبيها اللي تساعده So we ordered like cedar wood souvenirs and they're carving on them and this like is the process of how he carves like Burn etching or whatever? Yeah, so we got this also, yeah. show it. We got this for our uncle. And then uh, we got like a little cedar tree and we're gonna put our family's initials on it. He's gonna carve on them using his car battery. I think we butchered that. This is like a small one that says من كل قلبي and then this one says إلى الأبد and then this one is our family tree. Okay, let's go into the forest. We came to hike, we left with a cedar tree. We haven't hiked yet. <laughs> we left with knowledge about life about and life, life lessons, life about lessons. Um, nature and How connecting to enjoy with life, yourself. How to connect with yourself yeah. through nature. Like he was so wholesome. He recorded wholesome. the whole conversation. Yes. Yeah, that's awesome. He was really Because he gave wholesome. such good life lessons to be honest. I swear. It's not us literally crashing the wedding. But it's kind of cool, like getting married between cedar trees. Ew, ew. Ew, 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 Nick, Nick, get it off of me, flick it. <laughs> <laughs> you freaked out way too much. <laughs> it's so pretty, like, look how nice the branches of it are, how they're, like, flat. I just love how they, how they just go out literally at 90 degrees. Like, look how big this one is. Yeah. It's crazy. How will we know which one is the one of God? You can go inside this one, it's hollow. Is this the hollow one? There was a hollow tree that we went You're inside. Lying. You got my hopes up. No, I remember getting inside a hollow tree. It might not be this one. No, I'm still recording. We're at the sea. So beautiful. Where is that hollow? See it? See no. what? The carving. What? Whoa. What? Okay, maybe this was not the hollow tree. What the hell? I'm so bad at recording. Also, I like how I was wrong and this is not the hollow tree that you can go inside. It like frames it. The hole in True. the cedar like frames it. <laughs> <laughs> Do <the> like Titanic. <laughs> it actually looks like a Titanic Jack. from up here. Don't let go, Jack. Go. I'm tearing up because it's so beautiful. I'm joking. Whenever there's an ounce of wind, I tear up. Someone carved on the tree like a face 
on like so many different parts and like a back of a woman in her hair like it's insane i didn't that's even notice it in the like beginning this is where baby tree is about to oh yeah. that's gonna be our baby cedar that's what he meant by when he said you can sit under <laughs> <laughs> me sitting under <laughs> In five years. In five years, this is gonna be me and my cedar. <laughs> I'm gonna have to build a really tiny chair and sit under it like this one. I really am trying so hard to be a nature girl. Like, I really want to be a nature girl. Like, I'm genuinely enjoying myself right now. But the second, like, an insect lands on me, I'm like, I can't do it anymore. Random side note, but I have a really bad fear of slipping down a hill and falling and, like, hitting my head and right now i'm walking down a really steep hill so i'm facing my fear live on camera with you guys it's such a random unnecessary fear that i have like since i was a kid i would have nightmares of me like slipping down a rainy hill and like slamming my head in a rock that got really really real with you guys look at this tree this might have been the hollow tree look how beautiful Jenna was saying she researched apparently cedar trees because they don't like decay They were using the wood to build everything like train tracks in Lebanon, which unfortunately we don't have anymore But train tracks houses everything they were using cedar wood and they were kind of like going extinct So then now they're like creating reserves like this to keep the cedars alive in Lebanon It's just really beautiful after like four or five years Nick has finally, I love how I'm talking about this in nature, like such a not nature topic, but Nick has finally Download. downloaded TikTok. I've never used it before. That's it. You're right. The hollow tree. <laughs> Anyways, Nick finally downloaded TikTok and he's going to post videos. So I'll put his I have no here. idea what to put. People I, in comments give idea. I think on the inside they painted it so that people the can call it. This is like in video games when you like go and there's like a plaque that describes what you're going to do and you click A. Except... Yeah, except no. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing's written. Slay. Slay. <laughs> Do you want to carve our name on the tree? Oh, it's like a cave in there. Yeah. No, it's not working. You can stay I doing I'm that. I promise I'm not destroying like nature. Years. I don't think the tree minds getting poked at Ew, with a rock. Ew, there's like a giant mosquito. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. We're 2,500 meters <laughs> above sea water. Honestly, like when he said 2,500, I'm like, wow, but like I, I can't even compute that in my head. That doesn't Two like... and a half Burj Khalifas. Really? Yes. See, I need visuals. The I love how quick of the Burj you Khalifa. were with it. So imagine looking up from the top of the, or looking down from the top of the Burj Khalifa. Double that and then add 0.5. <laughs> oh, and these freaking gross bugs keep getting on Jesse me. Jesse might hate the mountains. <laughs> I'm, I, a, I'm more of a beach girl. I like being close to bodies of water. I think the, the water brings me more peace than the mountain does. The, the saying people have about Lebanon, the advert that... The, <laughs> you can the, ski and swim in the same day. Because in winter you can surf. You wear a wetsuit and you can surf because of the waves. Oh, there's so many like little oh, shops. We are at the end of the trail, so at the end of the trail there's like places where you can get honey that bees, you know, used the cedar pollen and, oh, from cedar okay. or from oak. We, can, we tried them, they're pretty good. Coconut, bumali, green, yellow, orange. How is it? I love pigs. Even as people say wasps like reproduce in them or lay eggs in them or something. Why'd you have to say that? I don't care, I still like pigs. All the cedars like grouped up together look like one giant cedar tree. So far, I would say my cedar experience is a 10 out of 10. I don't know, I just like connected with nature, my country, met the most wholesome man ever that just explained everything about like cedar tree planting. He literally, when I left this morning, I told my dad I'm going to Eddie's and then he was like, bring me back a cedar tree and I took that literally and I brought him back a cedar tree and I'm just so like happy that guy showed us around but I do feel like I have insects crawling all over me right now I'm gonna adopt a cedar we did that I'm not the most adventurous person I don't so, like, like to I be need, always in nature I, I think I will never be the initiator of a nature plan but I'm so happy to go on them if you tell me let's go for a hike like i'm down but i will never initiate it because i have a little bit of fear of like <laughs> something unsafe happening or something but like if someone tells me to go i'm like yeah of course i'm going this is like literally perfect it's golden hour everything nature if you guys want you literally over there could actually
going back to bed with now. We just sat and stopped and got we coffee and with got Jenna's coffee. friend. Everything's my phone, my camera, my everything's out of battery. But we got coffee, revived ourselves for the ride back. We made it back home. Nick drove for like eight hours or something yeah, like that. Honestly, like, I could still be driving. I feel honestly props to him. It was very fun. I actually enjoyed it a lot. They, they were like offering to drive and I'm like, no. I was trying to high five you. Oh. <laughs> we kept filming videos where we'd be like... Ah! <laughs> that really that hurt. hurt. It like hit me here. It's literally midnight right now. Yeah, we left, we left 12 we, hours ago. We've been out for 12 oh hours. God. But it was honestly like a 10 out of 10 day. Yeah, that, this was amazing. Thanks for spending the day with us at Edis and driving around with us. There's gonna be so many more Lebanese vlogs this summer because me and Nick are promising ourselves that we're gonna like explore more. Yeah. So it's a Lebanon summer and y'all are coming with us. It's the next day. We're going up to the mountains to have lunch with our family and surprise him with the baby cedar. Ow, I poked myself in the eye. I'm really treating it like a baby. Now I understand plant moms. I feel like a plant mom. This will be the longest running gag, or not longest running gag, but like funniest gag, because my dad was like, bring me an edit. We're like, okay. I take it very seriously. I have a gift for you. Dad. You told me to bring you back a cedar tree with me. Yeah. Yesterday, you told me to bring you a cedar tree. Yeah. <laughs> he told me in five years that I'll be able to sit under the tree. Voila. I'm gonna plant my cedar. Yeah, just get your hands dirty. Okay. Some grass. Oh, <laughs> No, no, no. Done. Planted tree. Yeah. Now we're done. We'll check back in five years. <laughs> five years. Guys, wait for the update, guys. Wait for the update. Wait for Jess to sit under its when shade in five years. I'll let you know <laughs> if I can actually sit under it. I feel so proud. Now Jessie's gonna like put put the quote up on her room. What is it? Like, oh, uh, strong like men plant trees. They know they'll never sit in the shade of <laughs> Midrishu. <I've never laughs> I think they just made that quote. No, I've heard this strong quote before. Men. <laughs> Thanks for watching our journey to the cedars and growing our baby cedar. Bye. You kissed your dirt-filled hands. Fake.